How's it going? I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Welcome back to another episode of Tears of the Kingdom. And today we're going to be trying to find the third body part of Mineru, the fifth sage, right? This is exciting. Who knows? We might even be able to go for the fourth one already. Last one took over an hour of actual gameplay. I know I, I minimized it to about 17 or, or, or 15 minutes or something like that. That video was right. But yeah, it took a long time to actually manage to figure out some of these puzzles and I know, I know, I do overcomplicate things. Let's hope this doesn't happen again. Anyway, let's jump right into it. I think for the following few sessions, I'm going to be using the camera only at the start and at the end because of the overheating issue where it just switches off randomly, like uh, towards the one hour mark. I've figured out how to solve it, but I need to buy what is known as a dummy battery. It's just uh, to avoid you having to actually have a battery inside the camera, which causes this overheating problem. But yeah, that's something to figure out out next time I think. Wow, this is odd. How high is this? Where are my... Wow, that really is a precipice. How am I supposed to get there? Look at this. We can see kind of like a tower. So maybe if I put a giant bright bloom seed, I might be able to tell what's going on. It doesn't even reach there. What is going on? Do I have to go in that and then all the way up and then get there somehow? It looks like that's what we have to do, right? That is mental. All right. Maybe we can just use a send. I mean, it looks like this is what we can do, but it's never that easy, is it? Part of me is, is uh, thinking that we're just going to end up in a tower situation where you have to go up a bunch of stairs, fight a bunch of enemies. That would be really cool. But given the amount of time we're spending ascending here, this is truly... Uh, excuse me, but what? Um, how? What happened with the depths? Not only have no idea where I am, and I'm also extremely confused. This won't do the trick. We'll just go straight into the river. I did not expect that tower would take us all the way up here. I think I'm going to go back down. We could always try going to the other one first. Oh, come on. That was the perfect backflip. Oh, what? But I backflipped at the same time. My timing is so wrong. Yeah, I am really bad at this. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> I've had enough of this. Oh, wow. The gloom. This is terrible. We should uh, go and recover from this, right? Well, let's, let's uh, first finish this battle off. Nice, nice, nice. And now we can eat our food. I'm not sure why I struggle so much with parry. Last time I blamed it on the fact that there is like a 200 millisecond delay between the game and what I see on screen due to my capture card. But is that it? Or am I missing something? Before I venture deeper over there, I did want to see something. That is... Is that the other one? I think this one is easier to get to. So we'll start off with this depot over here. I think the other one, we need to do something else to get in. All right, the left leg depot. Little things over there to our left. And of course the gates close, the other one's open and now we have to go over there towards our left somehow. Rockets. There's a few things we can do. Okay, it's got a mechanism here. Like part of me just thinks, okay, we can just attach this here, right? Then hit that. When we get to the top, try to grab onto it. But I don't know if that's gonna work because this is gonna fall straight back down and I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough time to turn back. Let me just see. So if I do this and then, whoops, uh, wrong button. There we go. 
I'm always struggling with the thing, but it's the same one that used to shield. Is the same button that you use to quickly switch uh, camera view, right? Don't we have like a balloon or something? Like, I know, I know you can solve this puzzle without this, right? It's, it's easy. But I'm just trying to think of ways to guarantee my success. And now we activate this. Then we can go to the rockets real quick. This will not work. Oh. Well, it worked, but in a different way than what I expected. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What will this do? Basically made this thing go, okay, up or down. So my next idea is put this at the edge. Ah, more rockets. It's too heavy for this. We do have one of these machines here, so that's kind of cool. What are we going to get? <laughs> the Megalode. Construct head. A wing. Small wheel. Rocket. And then another rocket. Beautiful. I think I'm just going to do the normal thing. I don't know if this inclination is right or if it's just going to crash straight against the other thing, but let's see what happens. I'm also kind of curious to see what would happen if I'm on it, right? Can we both just get there in one go? I guess so. That's nice. Something terrible has happened. I somehow managed to stop the recording without even realizing and carried on playing for about 20 minutes or something. And I don't even remember how far back we uh, we, we ended that recording. So I'm just going to try to catch you up. I think we were with the rockets. We managed to complete the leg. And we're on the fourth one now. I spent about maybe 15, 20 minutes trying to even reach the fourth one. It was the one with the big chasm below. And basically I had to go up, find another light route, activate it. And then suddenly we had a platform visible from where we could reach the fourth location, the final one. So right now we're in the middle of that. I managed to get in and we're trying to solve, uh, I think the first or second thing inside. I'm so sorry. It's so ridiculous because I didn't even realize I'm like, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking for so long. And then it's like, oh, whoops. Anyway, let's carry on. We're in the last leg depot and I managed to bring up the thing from the first room, actually. So it's just uh, down here somewhere. Yeah, I activated it there. I put it on these things that have fans and then moved it up here. And I'm trying to construct something that will take us over there. So my thought so far was to attach the body part here and put two fans that we used to uh, get up here. Maybe that's going to be enough. I don't know. Uh, my other issue is I don't know how to get up here. I'm guessing if we can get up here, we might be able to jump. Okay, wish me luck. Yes. Yes, yes. Now activate and see if this works. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Well, that's a bit problematic, isn't it? This one off here. All I can think of is to put it sideways. But we'll need a, a kind of counterweight or something, right? Like, that should go through there. Wouldn't that just work out of the box, then, if I put this like this? Who knows? Maybe. If that works, I reckon I can get up to that tree and launch myself from there. So I'm just going to try to send it off on its own. And there it goes. Did it get stuck? No. That is beautiful. Maybe I can just ascend. Maybe that's the easier option here, right? Here we go. And is this it? Is, is this the exit? Is is this all or like? It is not the exit yet. No. We have a slight issue here. We have to get all the way over here, but... Oh, there is no chasm 
on this spot at least, I think. All right, we should be good then. I was thinking maybe it's going to be hard to get all the way over there, but we can attach the... I was going to say we can attach the fans, but my slight fear... Well, I don't know. It sounds like the fun thing to do. And we should always opt for the fun thing to do, right? I don't think they're going to get very far anyway. Look at the like the weight of this thing. is must be pretty hefty, right? Okay, I mean... I hope. I hope it gets to in one piece. Who knows? Wow. Has it gone? It's just gone. It has just gone. It has... It has gone. Now this is a disaster. It's just gone. This is a terrible disaster. I genuinely don't know how to bring it back up there other than using my own rockets and stuff. How bad was that decision? If I can place it on top of that and I can ascend on top of that, and I can drag it. Question is, can I actually do that? I don't think so because it looks really tall. Nowhere near. This is really ridiculous what has happened here. I don't know. I don't think I can make it to the top from here. I can use that as a stepping stone. We really did fall a long way. I'm gonna try to climb this part slowly, see if we can make it. No, 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 we had made it. No, this is so sad. We're gonna die. Oh my gosh. Wow. What is going on? Oh, that was miserable. That was so miserable. I am in shock. I'm thinking about the balloon, fire, a battery, and fans, and a steering wheel. A steering contraption thingy, a steering stick, right? That is all I, th I can think about right now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. How can we solve this? Everything has gone wrong this session. I didn't even manage to show you putting that third part back in for the reconstruction of Minero. And then for the fourth one, we managed to go flying off this cliff. Yet, I think this adds a bit more spice to it right now. We have to figure out how to drag this back uphill. And I think it, like, you know, like the challenges sometimes, it, it becomes even more fun. It's so and you can see it as uh, you can see it two ways right you can see it like this is a such a, a time waste like this is ridiculous like this is so dumb why did this happen or you can see it like okay now that it's happened let's treat this as another challenge let's think like we've already been through all of these challenges where the whole goal was getting things up moving things away moving things into the na next chamber this is just this like everything we've been through already on steroids, right? I am kind of excited to see if we can build that contraption, if it's going to be stable enough, if it's not going to go flying somewhere else, and if we're going to be able to bring it back by next session. If not, oh, I'm like recording something like that is a bit stressful because you don't know how it's going to go yet. We don't really know how any of this is going to go beforehand, right? So we might as well just dive into it and see what happens. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this bit of a chaotic session. And I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And I'll catch you in the next one.